The Latin culture in what is now Czechia flourished during the 3rd century BCE, representing the eastern spread of Celtic civilization in Iron Age Europe. Named after the archaeological site of Latin in Switzerland, this culture extended across much of Europe and left a significant mark in Bohemia and Moravia. Czech Latin sites have yielded a wealth of archaeological evidence, including decorated iron weapons, such as swords, spears, and scabbards with curvilinear motifs, fibulae, often in intricate shapes, which were used as both clothing fasteners and decorative items, pottery, typically wheel-thrown and sometimes painted or stamped with geometric designs, and coins, especially gold and silver staters, bearing abstract or stylized images influenced by Greek prototypes, which indicate both artistic sophistication and economic networks. Czech Latin spoke a continental Celtic language, part of the broader Celtic linguistic family that also included Gaulish and Lepontic. Though this language eventually disappeared with Romanization and later Slavic migrations, it reflects a time when Celtic-speaking peoples were widespread across Central Europe. For this video, I gathered 23 highest quality Czech Latin DNA samples and analyzed them with my trait predictor tool to determine their health and traits predispositions. I also ran these samples through QPDM to determine what their ethnic breakdown is. FST analysis of the Czech Latin samples reveals that they are close to Western European populations, despite being located in Czechia. They are rather distant from Russians and Poles and other Eastern Europeans. A Neolithic run revealed that the Czech Latin culture derives mostly from the Corded Ware peoples, those who introduced Indo-European languages in Europe. Aside from Corded Ware ancestry, they are also heavily mixed with the Anatolian Neolithic farmers and Western hunter-gatherers, who inhabited Europe prior to the Indo-Europeans. The most common Y lineage among the Czech Latin is R1BL51, a lineage common in Western Europe. Every sample received a West Eurasian phenotype prediction, most common phenotypes being Alpinid, Dinarid, North Atlantid, and Norid. Their most common eye color is hazel, although blue, mixed, and brown eyes were also common. Their most common predicted hair color was dark brown although blonde and even red hair was found. Their most common predicted skin color was olive and white, although pale and even light brown was present among the samples. Their most common predicted hair texture was wavy, and no sample scored kinky hair. By far the most common predicted nose shape among these 23 samples was Greek. The Czech Latin samples were strongly predisposed to male pattern baldness. Surprisingly, a lot of the Czech Latin samples did not carry the European lactase persistence mutations in MCM6 and LCT genes. The Czech Latin samples were somewhat protected from obesity. Regarding the warrior versus warrior trait, the warrior phenotype, which is associated with slower dopamine reuptake and higher dopamine levels, was prevalent among these samples. Few samples carried risk variants for spina bifida, and the Latin Czechs had an overall average predisposition to this condition. Regarding ACTN3's R577X variation, the majority of the samples scored either CC or CT genotype, which are associated with increased athleticism. Relative to other Europeans, this is very peculiar and suggests higher athletic ability, in particular, advantages in explosive strength. The Latin samples were strongly predisposed to autism, the Latin samples were predisposed to slightly elevated odds of allergies, which is typical for Europeans. Regarding predicted empathy based on OXTR genotypes, the Latin samples had a slight predisposition to lower levels of empathy. The Latin samples had a predisposition to average telomere length, which leads to more or less average biological lifespan. The Latin samples had a predisposition to lower odds of cardiovascular issues. The Latin samples had a slight predisposition to epithelial cancer, which is typical for Europeans. The Latin samples had a predisposition to elevated LDL cholesterol, which is typical for Europeans. Hemochromatosis, otherwise known as the Celtic curse, was very much prevalent among the Latin samples analyzed. The Latin samples seemed to have a sort of protection from type 2 diabetes. However, the Latin samples had a strong predisposition to type 1 diabetes, which is typical for Europeans. 
The Latin samples also had a very high predisposition to multiple sclerosis, especially compared to non-European ethnicities. Finally, regarding mental health predispositions, the Latin samples had a very low predisposition to bipolar disorder type 1, which is a common predisposition for Europeans. The most common blood types among the Latin were O and A, although B and AB were present as well. This is a typical blood type distribution for Europeans. You can purchase these samples in 23andMe format from the link in description. Make sure you check the links in description for Andre DNA products and services. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.